All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. How you doing? Sister Carol, now we're out on the road right now. Um, thought I'd come in here for a moment and talk to you a little bit because I have a lot of people uh, sending me communications about how that um, the Dodd-Frank uh, bill that is in uh, Congress is, is making a threat uh, to those of us who are investors in silver and gold, tangible assets, physical, um, how they're trying to do everything they can regulate it to pass into law um, by July the 15th of this year to where there can be no more physical trading or trading whatsoever at all. Now, you have to understand that these people are a whole lot more intelligent about uh, writing these things and, and things that's going on. Uh, a, a few people have um, sent me a couple of articles from Zero Hedge, and I, of course I read through them. Um, and of course now I'm here to give you uh, my take on what's really truly going on, at least from what I believe. Um, I think that what's going on is, is that they're trying to regulate um, the paper market. Um, I think it has nothing to do with physical gold and silver, at least at this time. Now, do I believe that they're going to try to make a move um, to uh, get gold and silver out of our hands, um, especially gold? They've never done it in silver, at least history hasn't recorded it. Um, do I believe that they're going to try to make a move to um, do it with gold? Sure I do, because they've done it before here in the United States of America. Um, but at this time, it looks like that um, they're after the little small guys who are trying to make um, trades, um, electronically, um, kind of like a lot of you people should have learned your lesson about this Bitcoin thing. Uh, Bitcoin crashed and went all the way down to one cent. One cent. It was up to over four something dollars and now it's down to one cent. And I just can't understand for the life of me as I change thoughts here for a second. How did all you people out there are so intelligent uh, to be able to see what's going on, especially when it comes to investing with tangible assets such as gold and silver, I can't understand for the life of me how that you people can get it, you grasp it, you understand what's going on, you see what's taking place, you know the manipulation, you know the times we're living in, you know what real true money is, and yet how you can e so easily be duped and deceived back into phony money, electronic money, um, and, and fiat currency, no matter where it be, whether it be Bitcoin, Federal Reserve notes, or, it makes no difference. I'm, I'm just literally appalled and amazed how many of you people will just jump on this bandwagon without any historical back record, track record, or proof whatsoever at all. Um, you know, I, I, sometimes I do make the mistake and give um, human beings a lot more credit for being uh, more intelligent than that, but I can see that a lot of times our motivation is, is because we're so disgruntled um, with the system, and the system has let us down that we're looking just for anything that, that will uh, give us by any means to be able to rebel against the system um, and, and to find another way that's going to work for all of us because we know this system is, a, is, is just a flat out failure. But don't be so hasty to move. I mean, you still have the Federal Reserve knows that you can still buy and trade, you know, and, and get goods and services for. Um, do I think that um, we're just about at the end of the paper manipulation? Sure I am. When you're sitting up here selling gold and silver contracts and futures, um, 16 years into the futures, and, and, and uh, at the value rate of 100 to 1 paper manipulation, I mean, uh, they would throw you and I in jail for something like that. But the reason why they're not thrown in jail because they're the government and they have the guns. They're the CFTC. They, they control the money. They do the regulation or deregulation. They control everything. But you and I, it's austerity measures. And that's the reason why that Pastor Dow is continually telling you over and over again. I try my best to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding as I have learned it. You see, you have to learn how to get out. You, you need to learn, first of all, number one, self-preservation, no matter what that may be. Um, you know, we live in a system that is all taught us all about the American dream, and of course the American dream is also, also associated with American nightmare, which is debt. And everything that they do in this society, everything is debt-based, debt-based and credit-based. And so we have to change our mindset because we've been schooled in that particular school of thought um, from the time we was knee-high to a snake shot all the way up to the point where we are now. Some of us still is not going to get it. You know, it's going to take in this country um, uh, deplorable um, situations. Uh, we're going to have to watch and see uh, people on the streets just rape, mur uh, mur uh, murdering, robbing, and killing each other before we actually really truly get it. 
You know, we have this ideal here in this country that all these things that are going on here in this world, oh, that's over the seas, that's, that's happening in Greece, that's happening in Egypt. Uh, we don't ever think that that stuff is coming to our, our doorstep. Yet and still, Boise, Idaho is being sold to the Chinese. Uh, Ohio, um, Detroit, Pennsylvania, Michigan, um, and Chicago, <coughs> excuse me, are all under the same gunfire to be bought out by the Chinese because we're $64 trillion in debt. At least that's what they tell us. I don't believe it was $64 trillion. I believe it was something like $104 trillion. Either way it goes, I still can't even wrap my little mind around a trillion dollars of debt. And yet and still they want us to trust in the system so it's not working. Uh, the same fear tactics that Henry Paulson used in 2008, <coughs> excuse me, 2007 and 2008 to try to... Uh, Play, you know, do this for this fear mongering upon our country and society as a whole. It's not working no more. Uh, Obama can't get uh, more debt. He can't raise the debt ceiling. Everybody's digging in their heels. The so-called Republican and Democrats. And remember, if they're a Republican, if they're a Democrat, they're all rats. It makes no difference. If they, you know they're lying when their um, mouth is moving, uh, they don't have your best interest nor mine in in um, in their hearts whatsoever at all. So, what I would do. Uh, is getting back to my original thought is is think about self-preservation. You know, we're at the point now that you're going to have to buy a piece of land. I um, mean, you can't be looking for big. You ought to look for something that's going to be able to sustain you for the next 10 years. And I'm talking about as, as, as simple as possible since many of us, you know, out there don't have a lot of building skills. Uh, we do here straightway. But since many of you out there don't have many building skills and stuff, um, it, it would behoove you to try to find an acre of land in some remote place somewhere um, and, and some simple used trailer um, and start using it and, and getting that place together and, and look for people alike mine um, who can you, you can trust. Um, and, and I definitely would not be looking to family first. That's the number one mistake you can do. Um, but, you know, you're going to have to start storing water, storing food, um, just like we continue to keep telling you. And then... The greatest of all, which many of you don't believe, but it's just proven to be real to me, is, is faith. Um, I often say it straightway that if people knew what I knew about what that Bible says, those scriptures, they would immediately run away from religion and come to the true faith, which is the faith of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. My heart aches as I see uh, the, the, you know, the deteriorating um, society, um, the values erode. Um, I'm watching us going into spiritual bankruptcy, moral degradation. Um, it it kind of hurts my heart. I'm not so much alarmed and disturbed about it because for years now, uh, going on 14 years, I've made preparations for this particular time that we're um, looking at and staring at right now. As a matter of fact, it's up on us right now. Um, so I'm not too much alarmed, and neither are the people uh, at Straightway. Uh, we have faith, um, and not only that, we're physically putting our footprint and footstep to what we believe, uh, and then we're trying our best, and that's the reason why I make these videos, to strengthen you. But let me get back for the nature of this video, the reason why I'm here in the first place. Um, you need to keep stacking silver, uh, because it is, it is going to continue to keep climbing. It's going to go through the roof, because... You know, we're going to find out that these Federal Reserve knows that we carry around and we go and work for every day. Um, that is, they're going to be good for nothing but starting fires. Um, you people, if you haven't got it by now, if you haven't learned your lesson by now, um, you should have immediately ran from Bitcoin even if all you had was $3 left because your investment that you put into it, it got down to a penny. And, of course, that ain't worth too much now, is it? Um, if it's not physical, you can't handle it in your hand, you can't physically feel it and see it, you can't trust in it. And you definitely don't want to trust in, in some bank 500 miles away, whether it be in New York or Sweden or whoever, where else you want to call it, or the Swiss bank. You don't want to trust that either. You want to trust in your own security. You want to trust in your own self-preservation. You want to trust in the people, who those who you have a witness with that have the same mindset. Get out of the Bitcoins, leave that mess and junk alone, and get back to the roots where you learn physical assets, gold and silver in your hand. Uh, get out of debt. 
divest yourself of all debt you can as possible because you can see some of the videos I posted up here uh, even the Department of Education now is actually sending the SWAT team out to actually call people on student loans who thought that they were scot-free they're actually sending out uh, what I call the Gestapo uh, law enforcement agencies out now to jack all you people up because we're so bankrupt so you're gonna continue to see things in the news to where they're going to do everything they can to try to squeeze every amount of tax and penny out of you, the American people. Because remember, government cannot produce anything. They only take. Um, and with all this taxation, without representation that we're suffering in how we're living in now, it's not going to get any better. Pay attention and listen to people like me and and, um, and a few other people. I, hey, I, I, only, I can't even mention five pastors in this continental United States of America, this land over here that I can actually have, that I actually have any, any real confidence in. I know one of them is me for sure. Um, and because my footprint and my footstep prove that I mean business and I'm a man of honor and integrity. Uh, it makes no difference to me if you understand that or not, but I do know what I'm doing as well as other people. And there are a few others. Um, Pastor Joe Fox, he's another one you can, um, um, Whatever his word, whatever he says, any videos he make, you can take it to the bank. That's for sure. Uh, I've told you the truth, and I told you the truth straight away. Um, be encouraged. Because, you know, right now, hmm, seems pretty quiet, don't it? Pretty still. But I'm telling you, there's a storm brewing. It's always quiet before a storm. And that's the truth, and that's the truth straight away.